Hello, PBR Texture Mapping is a 3D rendering workflow that is currently used in mainstream game engines. Using PBR materials can provide accurate rendering of the physical reaction of light on the surface of objects. It is not only good at rendering very realistic materials, but also able to handle stylized materials. Substance 3D Painter is a very powerful PBR texture mapping software that is widely used by many artistic developers. Coco's Creator also uses PBR materials. Now, let's take a look at how to import PBR textures made with Substance 3D Painter into Coco's Creator. First, we need to know which PBR materials Coco's Creator supports. Create a default material, and we can see that the default material uses the built-in standard shader, which we call PBR materials. PBR materials use the workflow in the PBR process. When using PBR materials for rendering in Coco's Creator, we need at least three basic textures. 1. Albedo Map 2. Normal Map 3. PBR map. The albedo map is used to show the basic color information of the material without lighting conditions. The normal map is used to show the surface structure details of the object. The PBR map is a kind of blended texture, with each of the R, G, and B channels containing a separate map. The R channel is an ambient occlusion map, the G channel is the roughness map, and the B channel is the metallic map. After understanding these basics, we can start learning how to import PBR textures made with Substance 3D Painter into Coco's Creator. Open Substance 3D Painter. We have already created the material and textures for the model, and now we export these textures. Click File, Export Texture, select the Output Templates panel. Shortcut key is Ctrl plus Shift plus V. We can see that Substance has many default output templates for us to use, but none of them are suitable for Coco's Creator. We need to create a new preset template for Coco's Creator PBR materials, and then use this template to export the textures. Click the plus sign next to the presets to create a new preset and rename it to Coco's Creator PBR. Now we have created a blank preset. First, we create an albedo map. Click RGB plus A. The albedo map contains color information and an alpha channel. Name a dollar texture set albedo. Content starting with a dollar sign is an expression for naming the prefix of the texture. Dollar texture set means that the prefix of the output texture name is the material's texture asset. In this example project, the texture asset name is Droid. So dollar texture set albedo means that the final output texture name is Droid albedo. Click the dollar sign next to the name to see a total of five prefix expressions. Dollar project means that the prefix is the project name. Dollar mesh means that the prefix is the model name. Dollar UDMI means that the prefix is the UDMI name. Dollar color space means that the prefix is the color space name. You can also add multiple prefixes at the same time, such as dollar project dollar texture set albedo. Drag the base color in the input maps panel into the RGB field of the new map. Choose RGB channels. Drag opacity into the A field of the new map to add an alpha channel to the texture. Choose gray channels. The albedo map is now created. Next, let's create a normal map. Click on RGB and create an RGB map named dollar texture set normal. Drag the normal OpenGL from the Convert Maps panel into the RGB column of the new map. Select RGB channels. Then create a PBR map. As we already know, Coco's PBR map is made up of three images of the R, G, and B channels within a single texture. So here we need to create an R plus G plus B map named dollar texture set PBR map. Drag Mixed AO from the Convert Maps panel into the R column of the new map. Select Gray Channels. Drag Roughness from the Input Maps panel into the G column of the new map. Select Gray Channels. Drag Metallic from the Input Maps panel into the B column of the new map. Select Gray Channels. Finally, create an Emissive Map. Click on RGB and create an RGB map named Dollar Texture Set Emissive. 
Drag emissive from the input maps panel into the RGB column of the new map. Select RGB channels. Once the settings are complete, we can export the PBR map by going back to the settings panel. In the output directory section, select where to save the exported texture on the hard drive. In the output template section, select the Cocos Creator PBR template we just created. Choose PNG format and set the texture size according to the project's requirements. We'll select 2048. Then click the export button to export the texture. We can then open the folder where the texture was saved to see our output PBR map. After creating the PBR map, let's see how to import and use it in Cocos Creator. Let's start by creating a new project. Open Cocos dashboard and in the project panel, click New. Select the Cocos version. Here, we're using version 3.6.0. Click the empty 3D project template. Enter the project name. Select where to save it on the hard drive and then click the Create button. After a moment, the project will be created. Open the newly created project. Right-click in the Assets window and select Create Folder to create a folder named Droid. Then create another folder named Models to store our model files. Create a folder named Materials to store materials. Create a folder named Textures to store textures and a folder named Scenes to store scene files. Right-click in the Scenes folder and create a new scene named Droid. Double-click the scene to open it. We'll now have an empty scene. Next, import the model and texture. Drag the robot and background models we made as FBX files to the Models folder we just created. Drag the PBR map exported from Substance to the Textures folder we created earlier. After importing the texture to Cocos Creator, set the texture type as follows. For the albedo, PBR, and emissive maps, select Texture as the type. For the filter mode, select Bilinear with MIP maps. For the normal map, select Normal map as the type. For the filter mode, select Bilinear with MIP maps. After setting the texture types, we can drag the robot and background models from the Assets folder to the Droid scene. Right-click in the Materials folder and create a new default material built-in standard named MDroid. Drag the material to the Materials column under the Robot's Mesh Render to apply the material to the robot model. Then, add the completed PBR textures to their corresponding positions in the material. Add the albedo texture to the albedo map. Add the normal map to the normal map. Add the PBR texture to the PBR map. Add the emissive texture to the emissive map. Then, we need to enable use alpha test to make the transparent parts of the material transparent and adjust related material parameters. First, enable double-sided display of the material. Find the Cull Mode property of the material, and change it to None. Then adjust the other material parameters. Roughness is the roughness coefficient that controls the roughness of the material. Metallic is the metallic coefficient that controls the metallic properties of the material. Occlusion is the ambient occlusion coefficient that adjusts the effect of AO. We can adjust these parameters according to the needs of the project. Create a background material. Right-click the Materials folder and create a new default material named MBG as the background material. No textures need to be added. Adjust the color to dark to highlight the robot. After the material settings are complete, let's adjust the ambient light and main light source and enable shadows. Select the scene droid in the hierarchy and adjust the parameters in the inspector panel on the right. Select the second type for the ambient light type. Select a suitable H-Drive texture for the environment map of the skybox. Here I use an indoor environment H-Drive texture. 
Adjust the sky lighting color and ground lighting color to match the color of our H-Dry texture, and adjust the brightness of the sky to 25,000. Enable the Scene Shadow option. Select Shadow Map for the Shadow Type. Set the size of the Shadow Map to 2048. Adjust the color of the Main Light Source Main Light to be slightly yellow, simulating the color of sunlight. Enable Shadows. Select Soft, 2x. Then adjust the angle of the Main Light Source. Set the intensity of the Main Light Source to 120,000. The Robot Model also needs to enable Shadows. Select the robot model and set shadow casting mode under the mesh render panel to on. Now our entire robot project is complete. I hope this tutorial can help everyone create better PBR material effects in Coco's Creator. Thank you and goodbye.